Hey there, so in this video, we are going to see how we can copy content of one array into another array. So let's quickly get started. So to do this, what I'll do is I'll create one array of integer type. Let's initialize it with some random elements. Let's say one to three. Okay, let's say it has three elements. So automatically it is going to be of size three because if we give initialize the list, then we don't need to give size to the array while declaring it. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll declare one more array. Actually, let me change this name. Let me change it to ARR1. Now let me declare one more array. Let me name it as ARR2 and this is going to be an empty array. Okay, I'm not going to initialize it. So if I'm not initializing it, then I'll need to give size. I can't keep this square brackets empty. So in this case, I'll give this array size as three. Now I, what I want to achieve is I want to copy all the contents from ARR1 into ARR2. This is my, this is my requirement. So let's see how we can achieve it. Can we write something like this? Let's try writing something like this. Can we write something like ARR2 is equal to ARR1? So you can see editor has started giving some error. If I'm writing ARR2 is equal to ARR1, editor has started giving some error. So seems like this is not valid. Okay, let me compile this code and let's see what compiler is saying. So I'll write G plus uh, plus my file name. It is kind of complex. My file name is a little bit complex, but that's fine. Okay, you can see it is saying in function int main. It is saying in main you are doing invalid array assignment okay so that basically means you cannot assign one array to another array okay this operation is not valid you cannot write something like this and see the reason is actually a little bit complex to understand at this point but you will understand why you cannot write something like this or why this expression is invalid when we will go to a module called as pointers okay but right now i'll just give you one brief overview that why this expression is invalid see always remember in c plus plus array name refers to address of an array see it is absolutely fine if you are not getting whatever i'm explaining right now you're going to get it when you will reach to pointers module but i'm just explaining it to you so that if anyone knows these concepts then they will get it at this point only okay so in c plus plus name of the array represents address of an array so if i write something like this let's say c out arr1 followed by endl and let me comment this line for now and let me compile this code you can see the code gets compiled and if i execute this code now you can see some hexadecimal value is getting printed this hexadecimal value is nothing but one address okay so basically this array name represent this address okay and always remember as this array name represents one address you cannot change them with assignment operator because the array name is kind of associated with some address and you cannot modify them that is not modifiable and that is the reason you cannot write something like this this expression is invalid so now let's understand now if i want to copy the contents of one array into another how we can do it so for that it is very simple what you can do is you can write a custom logic for this okay so what we can do is see i'll write one for loop which will start from zero and it will go till size of the array let's calculate the size so i'll write int size is equal to we know the formula it is nothing but size of arr1 divided by size of int because this time the elements are of integer type so in this way you will get size of an array so till your i is less than size you can continue the loop and then in every iteration you will increment i by one okay now what you can do is see in each and every element of arr2 at each and every element you can copy the element from arr1 from the same position so you can write something like this arr2 of i is equal to arr1 of i so what will happen is the element which is present at ith location in arr1 will get copied to element which is present at uh, ith location in arr2 okay uh, or ith location in arr2 element will be copied from arr1 okay so in this way you can copy the elements from arr1 into arr2 so what we are doing is we cannot copy the entire array we don't have any mechanism or any operator to copy the entire array into another array you will need to copy each and every element okay and that's why to do this we can use this loop and with the help of this loop you can 
you know copy contents of one array into another so now let's clear the terminal let's try to compile this code and let's execute this uh, you can see the code compiles successfully and code executes successfully and now let's try to see whether this arr2 is also having the proper contents or not so for that i'll write for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than size and then i plus plus and now what i'll do is i'll just print content of arr2 so i'll write c out arr2 of i followed by comma and then at the end of the for loop i'll write endl c out endl okay now let's try this code i'll compile the code and i'll execute it you can see it is printing one two and three so basically the elements are getting copied into arr2 so i hope you got how we can copy content of one array into another array now what we can do over here is see over here for arr2 the size is three but instead of writing arr2 of three or instead of writing three which is a hard coded value over here you can also write size okay so basically the size is getting calculated programmatically and then you are giving this programmatically calculated size value inside the square bracket and this is also fine now see in older versions of c++ this was not possible okay in older versions of c++ the size that you were providing to the arrays need to be a static value a fixed value a constant an integer constant okay but in modern version of c++ c++ allows you to give a dynamic size to the array and that is also fine so in this case this size is kind of dynamic because this is getting calculated programmatically so this will be calculated when the program will start running okay so c++ will get the idea about the size when the program starts running and you can do this in modern c++ versions it is not allowed in old versions of c++ so this might happen that if you are using some old version maybe on your machine uh, this uh, will not work maybe your editor will give an error so in that case you can write some hard coded value otherwise you can write this size over here so now let's say if i compile the code and if i execute it it still runs properly